Welcome to Lunar Says 2. When I reached a thousand subs, I asked for people to submit things for me to say, and here we are. While I normally like to have background music for my videos, and I did so with the first Lunar Says, I decided not to this time since that may take away from the video in this case. Also, we don't have as many submissions this time, but we have a fair amount of longer submissions and copy pastas. With that said, let's start. Gimme gimme chicken tendies, be they crispy or from Wendy's. Spend my hard earned good boy points or on a kid's meal, ballpoint, burger joints. Mommy lifts me into the car to find tendies near and far. Enjoy my tasty tendy treats in comfy big boy booster seats. McDonald's, Hardee's, Popeye's, Cane's, but of my tendies none remains. She tries to make me take a nappy, but sleeping doesn't make me happy. Tendies are the only food that puts me in the napping mood. I'll scream, I'll shout, I'll make a fuss, I'll scratch, I'll bite, I'll even cuss. Tendies are my heart's desire, fueled by raging hungry fire. Mummy sobs and walls and cries, but tears aren't tendies, nugs or fries. My good boy points are fairly earned to buy the tendies that I've yearned. But there are no tendies on my plate. Didn't mummy think that I just ate? Tendies, tendies, get them now. You fat, ungrateful, sluggish sow. What the fuck? Where do trains get their games? On Steam. Funny. Anything. Oh, real funny. Hey guys, Wario here. Oh my goodness, guys, my stomach is rolling from eating that onion and rotten garlics. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, this is episode two, and right now I want to show you guys my living room. Uh, my hallway, I guess. Oh my goodness, my stomach. But, um, look, guys, look. It's one of my greatest achievement, Wario Land 4 on the Game Boy Advance. Ha ha ha. And look, guys, look. It, the Virtual Boy Ultimate Classic System. Uh, you guys remember Wario Land? Incredible, incredible. Oh my goodness, my stomach, guys. My stomach, the bathroom is not far away. Oh my goodness, I feel uh, the stuff coming down my buttocks. Oh my goodness, oh, oh gosh, I need to get to the door. I just gotta get to the door. Bye, guys, bye. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. And the next episode will be me using the toilet. Oh my goodness, guys. It's running down my buttocks. Ah, I need to get to the bathroom. It's coming. It's coming. Ah. Lamp oil. Rope? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds, line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster after each minute you hear this signal. A single lap should be completed every time you hear this sound. Remember, run in a straight line and run as long as possible. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, your test is over. Our test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready, start. Sorry, Link, I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little, mmm, richer. Hotel Mario is a puzzle video game developed by, ah, you are not fucking serious. A puzzle video game de developed by Fantasy Factory and published by Philips Interactive Media for the Philips CDI in 1994. Players control Mario, who must find the Princess Toadstool by going through seven Koopa hotels in the Mushroom Kingdom. Each hotel is divided into stages, and the objective is to close all the doors on each stage. Each hotel ends in a boss fight with one of Bowser's Koopalings, culminating in a battle with Bowser. Hotel Mario was one of four games featuring Nintendo characters published for the CDI. The others were three Legend of Zelda games. Another Mario game, Super Mario's Wacky Worlds, was never released. Nintendo licensed the characters after reneging what the fuck does that say on a deal for Philips to create the Super NES's CD-ROM add-on. Hotel Mario initially received mixed reviews. Critics felt it was fun but had no lasting appeal. It had been retrospectively described as one of the worst video games, receiving criticism for its store closing game mechanic, unresponsive controls, voice acting, and full motion video cutscenes. Minions are scary. You either take the shit, or the shit takes you. Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Booger, if you still even remember that name, but I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You are not here to receive a gift, nor have you been called here by an individual, you assume. Although, you have been indeed called. 
You have been called here into a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection and misfortune. A labyrinth with no exit, a maze with no prize. You don't even realize you were trapped. Your lust for blood has driven you into endless circles, chasing the cries of mixed souls in some unseen chamber, always seeming of so near yet somehow out of reach. But you never find them, none of you will. This is where the, your story ends, and you, to you, my brave volunteer who somehow found this job listing not intended for you, although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a feeling that you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. I am nearby. This place will not be remembered, and the memory of everything that started can finally begin to fade away, as the agony of every tragedy should. And to you monsters trapped in the corridors, be still and give up your spirits. They don't belong to you. For most of you, I believe there is peace and perhaps more waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although, for one of you, the darkest pit of hell is open to swallow you whole. So don't keep the maximum nixel, old friend. My daughter, if you could hear me, I knew you would return as well. It's, your, it's in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry on that day. The day you were shut out and left to die, no one was left to lift you in their arms. The way you lifted others into yours, and then what became of you? I should have known you wouldn't content to disappear, not my daughter. I couldn't save you then, so let me save you now. It's time to rest for you and, and for those who carried you in your arms. This ends for all of us. End communication. That is super long. We're finally going on vacation. Arabia, Hyrule, China, Arabia. And we're not going to any of those places. J. Everyone knows Mario is cool as fuck, but who knows what he's thinking? Who knows why he crushes turtles? And why do we think about him fondly as we do the mystical non-existence, Dr. Pepper? Perchance. I believe it was Kant who said, Experience without theory is blind, but theory without experience is mere intellectual play. Mario exhibits by crushing turts all day, but he exhibits theory by stating, Let's a go. Keep it up, baby. When... Mario, when Mario leaves his place of safety to stomp a turdy <laughs> and knows that he may die, and yet for a man who can purchase lives with money, a life becomes a mere store for value, a tax that can be paid for, much as a rich man can feel any law with a fine is, is a price. We can think Mario is a hero, but he is simply a one percenter of a more privileged variety. That's all, folks. Thank you for watching, and thanks to those who submitted. I hope to see you in the next video.